And we're back. It's Act 3, we've got our starting Thunderstrike. We have not seen the Fire Spirits event. Got a Defragment, Consume, Seek, Runic Capacitor. This run's looking pretty solid. Would have liked to have seen the event that lets you trade the Golden Idol. Normally it's an event people don't want to see, because it's either like, lose a bunch of health for some max HP, or get Decay, or something. Anyway. My usual focus on campfires has been very campfirey. Let's see. This way does let us remove the curse if we decide we want to open the chest, although we'd fight the flaming elite. I don't know, maybe this run is going to act for get the key here, get the key here, get the key from the chest if the relic's no good. <laughs> or if we want to go to Act 4. I think we're probably going to beat the Timekeeper if we get up there. Although we might have to rest here. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to take this route just up the right side. We could dodge the Elite by going this way. Although then we might not get to remove this. Although if we skip the chest then we're fine. You start out vulnerable. Get Thunder Strike for more than 9 damage. 13 damage. Let's see, we do have more energy. Could just triple defend, but he's gaining strength per turn. I feel like triple defend is a little unambitious. I don't know, what are we drawing next turn though? I don't know, maybe we do just triple defend to take no damage this turn. We did get a couple orbs out. Hmm. If only there was a way to like save one energy while using Tempest, instead of actually spending all of it. Let's see, this will channel five orbs, which would evoke the frost for five block. We'd take one damage. And we'd get a lot of lightning out. Okay, there's nothing zero cost to seek. Hmm. Consume Glacier or Defragment gl Glacier Charge Battery? Let's see, Consume would make this all deal six. We'd be dealing, um... Let's see. Well, we'd evoke two, because we'd also use Glacier. So... 22 plus... 18... It's not a kill. I mean, the extra six block from Consume on the Glacier Orbs is probably worth the charge battery. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I don't think we have a better play. And we take no damage, and he's dead next round. Alright, got away from Orb Walker with one damage taken. Ooh, a Ball Lightning Plus. I'll take it. I think it fits with what we're doing, which is a lot of lightning. Wouldn't have minded an Electrodynamics at any point this game. Oh man, actually making use of our bag of marbles for, I think, the first time. And we got Shuriken value! Alright, I like eliminating one of them turn one, because it prevents the nightmare scenario of all three of them attacking. Okay, that's 20 damage, potentially. Wait, is this enough block? Almost. I'll do that. Once you get one of the slimes dead, you have a bit of control over the fight. Like, we could just re-kill him if we draw Barrage, which we can't because it's in the discard pile, but... Something like drawing Barrage would have killed him. Okay, chance he dies to our lightning orbs. Maybe I should have consumed and then played the zap? Yeah, actually that was just the strict misplay. I think. I mean, this way did keep more frost on. Although it didn't evoke a frost and we took damage. So, like, we would have rather evoked it. Let's see, we could draw... 
Thunder Strike? Huh, when it's in your draw pile, it doesn't tell you how much lightning you've channeled this combat. Interesting. I'm just gonna grab Barrage, though. Cool headed to see what we draw. Alright, I think we got him. We just need to kill him next round. Let's see, he's got no health. Did it. Speed potion. Reinforced body. Intriguing. Does let you put up a lot of block without playing a lot of cards. It's good against the timekeeper. Do I just save my money for this shop up here? I might not be going to that shop though. I'll take another defragment plus while it's on sale. Oh, I should have bought the membership card first. I was a little fast to act. Although maybe the membership card costs enough that we don't want it? Are we gonna get enough gold over the course of the rest of the run that it'll actually pay off with the 50% discount buying it on floor 37? Bullseye is actually a little interesting. What would we remove from the deck? Basic defend, probably? Or maybe even with it upgraded, basic strike. Oh yeah, I might just buy the gremlin horn. Let's see. Our boss does not have any companions, but there are plenty of fights on the way there. I like Gremlin Horde. Ooh. Is this worth it for a rare relic? Fighting one of them went pretty good. But like, two of them is a lot harder than one of them. Eh, we have meat on the bone. Uh, this is a start. Consume defragment, take 25 damage? Well, I could reinforce body to block 7. I mean, we, we got it, right? If you just do nothing, you just lose. Gotta be bold. Uh, what would we seek? Should have maybe, like, thought about that before playing all my cards. Steam Barrier doesn't sound bad, honestly. Or wait. Oh. How much are they doing? We already have, like, 18 block. But they're doing, I think, 14 each. Yeah, let's get that Steam Barrier out there. Alright, we had... Actually, way more than full block. Yeah, the steam barrier was completely useless. Ball lightning is strictly better than spending one energy on Tempest. Alright, we're taking a bit of damage here. I guess if all the lightning hit their left orb blocker, would it have died? Maybe. Cold Snap Strike Plus is one short of a kill. I could Steroid Potion and do both. I want to be absolutely sure this one dies. Also, I want it to die on my turn instead of to the orbs so that we get Gremlin Horn value. Oh, actually. That was just a, a win. Dead Branch. Do I want my Seek to become a random card when I play it? Glacier plus, stack plus. I think because we have Cursed Key, we're not nearly as worried about Sundial value. Oh! My microphone fell over. <laughs> kind of just put my hand down while thinking and uh, knocked it over. Uh, hmm. I 
could see any of these choices, including the skip button. I think we saw here our deck was a little vulnerable to having burns placed in it. So I kind of want a little more cards in the deck. Although it's not like Timekeeper does that. Actually, do any of the elites add cards to your deck? I think Nemesis puts in burns. Or not Nemesis. Is it called Nemesis? The thing that goes intangible. Where's, where's Nemesis the one that fades away after like five turns that's not an elite? Or is it an elite? What are the Act 3 elites? I don't even know. There's the giant head. There's the thing that goes intangible. Who knows? I think I would like Glacier Plus. We do... Wait. Let's take the Dead Branch. It's more fun to have it. Oh, Whispering Voices. Do we want Madness? Not really. I'll lose 4 max HP. Do I want to challenge an elite with 38 health, or would I rather challenge it with 59 health? I think elites are like the one thing that will make the run go poorly. You are called Nemesis, confirmed. See, so definitely Steam Barrier, like double defrag. Zap. So, do I cool headed defend, or do I just consume? Should have cool-headed earlier in the turn, actually. Now that I think of it. Alright, got exact block. And got a lot of powers out. No real point to dual cast here. It would deal one extra damage compared to just letting the orb go off. I should have considered the speed potion. Taking 12. Alright, here a normal defend gets us enough block. I think defend Tempest is gonna be the play. Alright, oh, Tempest itself also exhausts. We had two exhaust cards. Alright, Sundial just went off. We could do a giant reinforced body that's also pointless. Might as well get our damage in. Oh, I should have played the strike for one damage. If he survives a turn with one health, you're all entitled to laugh at me. If he doesn't live, though, you don't get to. That's just how it works. That's 24 block, yeah. Actually, do I consume? Let's see. This will become still 24 block, but we'll have more focus. Got him. Our Black Star gives us gold-plated cables, excellent with how much focus we have going on, and Vyra. A little less excellent, but we do have, like, Barrage, which is a multi-hit, and Thunderstrike. So one strength isn't bad. See, I already passed up free stack plus, so if that was correct, I should probably pass up an unupgraded stack. I wouldn't mind a skim. full statement. <laughs> um, Steam Barrier, do we need an unupgraded one? Not really. At least I don't think so. I hope we don't need it. I don't know, Skim mostly just helps you play more cards, sort of, vaguely. Now, I think we need Skim. Now we definitely Smith, right? And do we need it upgraded? I think we finally upgrade our Seek. Now that we have four energy, there are more turns where we want two extra cards. I, 
think I'm gonna open this for the key. Okay, we can upgrade a card or we could get a special relic, but we just added a curse. Do I care that much about the weak condition? I would remove pain out of the two. I will take the special relic. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat every turn. So that could upgrade a lot of our basic defense and stuff. Yeah, okay, rest prior to the flaming elite. Remove pain. So we don't lose HP whenever we play a card. And it's in hand. I guess I should have at least looked at the rest of the shop before doing that. Biased Cognition might have been tempting, but at the same time, I have good focus sources and I don't have any artifact sources. It's Giant Head with extra HP. Is that the most or least terrifying Giant Head? Who knows? I think Giant Head with extra strength would be the one you'd want to roll out of the Giant Heads, because he doesn't multi-attack ever. We got five focus, turn one. We paid five health for it. Sort of, vaguely. There's doubt. <laughs> Took no damage though, he's just debuffing. I think I want a frost orb to exist still. Oh, and it's in the gold plate cables position. Uh, he's not attacking again. Oh, I can't seek right now. <laughs> or rather, it wouldn't do anything. He's counting down. Uh, speed potion? Or not necessary this turn, really. We added exact block. But he's only half dead, and it is already time. Allegedly. Uh... Alright, I mean, we're dealing 39 damage per round if we can just survive. Okay, that's 70 damage if it's played first. But of course, we kind of want to get slow on him. Okay, we drew a zero cost. Excellent. This is 48 block, actually, because of gold-plated cables. Yeah, I'm willing to deal 80 at the price of 2 health. Again, seek with the empty draw pile. And I even upgraded it, and it's, it's just gotta let me down like this. I played my cards in the wrong order because I didn't account for slow. I could have also played the seek just to get extra damage in. Why are we still here? Probably because I'm bad. Alright, play your cards that do not attack prior to your cards that attack. I think we have him if we strike bar Ball Lightning Barrage. Yeah. War Paint. And the Emerald Key. And we can add a card. Ooh! Powers that aren't Hello World, in addition to a power that is Hello World. I think it's... Is Loop so much better? with so much focus that we actually take it over echo form? I think so. War paint, nice. I like events a lot, turns out it was just combat anyway. That's a lot of potential incoming damage. Our lantern helps us out a little with uh, defending, probably. 
Definitely play the Zap. Let's see, Reinforced Body. If we do it for four, let's see, wait. This is 33 incoming damage. So yeah, Reinforced Body for four is full block, even without the Cold Snap. I kind of want to defragment Reinforced Body. Or wait, the inf I can forgo up to three block. Eh, or maybe I take two and just play the Cold Snap to get a Frost Orb out there. Because Defragment Cold Snap is four block, so we, but that's also one extra energy beyond just playing Defragment, so the Reinforced Body is nine less block. So we'd only come up with um, four plus 27 is 31. So we yeah, we'd take like two. And Alternative play is just reinforce body and hope they aren't attacking so much next round. <laughs> we also do get to deal 10 damage. But, uh, I'm worried about that exploder. Oh yeah, we also... We actually get to deal 15 damage, but it's allocated at random. Alright. That is only 20 damage coming in this round. I think we definitely skim. I don't have anything that lets me directly target this Exploder. We've got Barrage coming up, which, uh... I think even with Doubt, we'll kill if we get full orbs. Even if we don't land any of this Lightning. We didn't land any of the Lightning. Maybe we just block the Explosion. It's 30 damage, and apparently nothing else is happening this round. And we, in fact, did not draw Barrage. <laughs> Even with that. Alright, cool. It's not like I, uh, wanted to kill the Exploder. Wait. This is enough block. I'll play the loop over the dual cast. Uh... Stuff definitely just happened. Maybe we kill this guy. Uh, let's see, we've already used Tempest. Let's just seek for Zap. And... Do we have enough block? No. Although we could play, like, Charge Battery and the plus, and then Ball Lightning, I think is what we'll do. Or we could play Charge Battery Plus and then Sunder, because uh, Seek gave it to us by exhausting. Let's skip. Yeah, let's get that recall in. We're going to Act 4 as long as we win. I don't have much confidence in Act 4, but it felt like a run that could go to Act 4, so I was like, you yeah, might as well. Alright. I like the idea of getting powers out there and getting orb slots full. That's as much as we could block for. I had the option of a speed potion, but... I think I'll leave myself at six cards used. Taking ten. Okay, he's dealing twenty-four. We could just char or reinforce body, block everything. Charge battery, reinforce body costs us one time warp stack, but gets us more energy next round. I think I'm willing to do it. We have, like, a, a consume we'd want to set up, and there might be other things we're looking to do. Or we could just not draw the things we're looking for. Uh, I don't like going into a turn with one card that I'm allowed to play. Yeah, let's just roll him over with Thunderstrike for 40. And we take 6, because we enhanced his damage. Seek for Consume and Defragment seems decent.
And then cool headed to actually block something. Alright, and with gold plated cables, we're actually safe. I forgot about that. Loop seems good. Not much point to playing the other cards, might as well keep the time warp stacks low. Thunderstrike for 40? Ball Lightning Thunderstrike for slightly more than 30? Or 40 or whatever? Wait, he's about to heal. Alright, we have four loops and gold-plated cables, so our rightmost orb actually triggers six times, counting the start of the turn and the end of the turn. I think we can just repeatedly end turn and then we win, because we've got, let's see, seven times nine block every turn. 63. Can he deal more than 63 damage with two strength? I don't think so. And it, I think his only source of strength scaling is time warp. I guess if I wanted to be really safe, I could, like, Capacitor, Cold Snap, and then save our cards, just so that I can fill the other two with Frost, or Lightning to speed up the fight. That might be better. Thunderstrike for 50? Eh, whatever, we'll, we'll just press E. Keep him at two strength. Hey, it's ball lightning. Now we deal 40 damage per round. Alright, so now if I can deal 12 damage, I might as well. <laughs> I can't, I can leave him at two though. And got him. Proceeding to the heart. Charging our core to maximum, dealing 803 damage, it squirms and bleeds, but is still pounding. We ask ourselves if we've been here, our consciousness begins to fail, and the heart slides up. And you are jolted awake by a sudden burst of our keys. And the heart retreats upward, revealing a door. Final act, the ending. I'm gonna split the part, because this is already 27 minutes. But yeah, we'll, we'll make an attempt. See ya!